Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Gremlins 2 The New Batch. What do you know about this movie? Well, first it's been almost a year. Almost a year. Again, since we've seen Gremlins. Yeah, again, no idea if Gremlins 2 is a Christmas movie or not. Or if it takes place at Christmas time. Yeah. Hopefully it does. Hopefully this is timing right. Um, but we'll see. From what I've heard about this one, it's much different than the first. Oh, okay. And this is just from comments. And it seems like this is kind of more of like a comedy than a horror, I think. I mean, the first one definitely was very funny. Yeah. But it was definitely scary at times and very violent. Yeah, I think this leans more into the comedy side, I think, from what okay. I was seeing in the comments. But... Again, I I don't know. I don't know if this is the same <laughs> cast, like we're gonna see the same people coming back, or yeah. if this is just a brand new batch. <laughs> I mean, I've said multiple times, my memory's garbage. I don't remember much from the first movie other than like the water and the feeding. Oh yeah, they don't like light. Yeah. So the first movie was great. Yeah. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a um, lot of fun. And with how much the second one is recommended, I'm sure we're going to enjoy this one too. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. Uh, no reason that we waited a whole year for it, but I'm excited to get into this film. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. All right, we got, what, Looney Tunes? The OG Warner Brothers. Yeah. I'm taking charge here. <laughs> this is a very long intro. All right? <laughs> All right, that was very interesting. So we're in New York. Oh, Phoebe Cates. Okay, so it might be some of the same cast. I don't remember the guy's name, so that could be him. This is where the same shop was, right? I think so. It does look very familiar. It was like downstairs in a basement. Yeah, this is the shop. And they're singing. This guy does not give off good vibes. No, he's definitely the evil villain. Or maybe he's the messenger for the evil villain. The uh, clamp. Chinatown Center, where business gets oriented. Oh my god. This building will be state of the art, and I'd hate to see you miss out. Hey, Mr. Wayne. You know. <laughs> Gotta buy that now. A man can always agree with others. It is more difficult to agree with oneself. The answer is still no. Hey. <laughs> TV. Oh, Rambo. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> An invention for fools. How, yeah, how dare you? <coughs> He's not doing so well. Yeah. Did you hear that cough? We can wait. Jeez. Only six weeks. The death of Mr. Wing removes the oh. last obstacle. Aw. Yeah, someone's got to go find him and take care of him. And they're by himself for six weeks? Or the death was recent. I don't know. True. Did he have a name? I want to say yes. <laughs> they didn't even, like, check or clean the place out? Oh, my God. It was terrifying. Mo -ga Mo guy? Oh what yeah, is that? that's like the species. Yeah. If you want to find something weird, you have to go downtown. What a start to the movie. <laughs> well, his wife says he is getting better. He was just kind of rattled. So they're both back. A bunch of little monsters drive a snowplow through your living room. They kind of do that to you. If we stayed in Kingston Falls, I probably would have been promoted twice at the bank. Kingston Falls. And it was like the same set as Back to the Future, I think. Yes. Okay. It's all coming back. Welcome to the Clamp Entrymatic. Oh, so they work at Clamp. And efficiency. <laughs> oh my god. Instant <laughs> karma. 
Please be careful in stepping in and out. Have a powerful day. Powerful day? Sooner or later, they're bound to notice. Maybe then we can get married. So we're decent away from the first film. They just have a few minutes. That courtyard looks cold. Are they going to plant trees there? No, but you're going to draw them. This attitude doesn't work for me. <laughs> Jeez. Unauthorized potted plant. I spoke to him about that plant weeks ago. Well, aphid infestation. Jeez, this place sucks. In a $200 million flea market. Guy has too much time on his hands. Yeah. Well, I, I just felt it's that... It's a nuclear meltdown disaster. I mean, it... This lady is way too stressed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just going for a smoke break. That's an unauthorized break period, my friend. You don't work here anymore. Fired just like that? Clean out the desk, one hour. Better stop smoking if you just lost your medical. Alert personnel, we have a career opportunity in level seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Construction, sports, finance, and of course, a popular line of jams and jelly. <laughs> Why is that of course? <laughs> Dang, what movie is this? Yeah, I don't know. People who watch TV at 3.30 in the morning, the only thing that scares those people is getting sober and finding work. <laughs> hey, I thought maybe you could use it on your show. Show? Yeah. Put it in the back, will you? Aww. I went into broadcasting. I thought I was going to do news. Last week, they took out a patent on a new kind of gerbil. Uh-oh. Do they have the Kremlin? Slice yeah. of life. This is not good. Oh, yeah. Singing along. What kind of stuff do they do in there anyway? We're not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> Man, I want to say that guy in many years will be on Breaking Bad. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> the delivery guy? Yeah. Well, I think we have the flu up backward. <laughs> oh. All a man wants is some fresh germs. Ew. Casper, I have this tissue analyzed. And this is Christopher Lee. And it can never say it right, but I want to say he's Sauron. Oh. Lord of the Rings, I yeah. think? Yeah. Doctor, how's the cloning work coming along? Really well, Doctor. <laughs> and they're from Terminator 2. <laughs> I was like, they look familiar. Everyone's in this movie. Oh. He likes this music. Yes, it's his favorite. Almost got away. Oh, he's got to be hearing it from the delivery guy. That music, where did you hear it? I was up in that uh, laboratory, you know, in 51. That's all he needs. Come on, go check it out. And that's definitely Tuco from Breaking Bad. Hi, I, I hear your copier's down. Back there. Thank you. <laughs> oh my Is god. Is she okay? No. Send her home. Well, he wants germs. Millions of rats in New York City, and one of them could power a portable radio for a month. What? <laughs> no, fuck me. What <laughs> was that? <laughs> that was the biggest spider <laughs> ever. God damn it. <laughs> Slides from there. Absolutely, Doctor. Where oh, there's flashlight. Oh. Diversion. Theodore, how did you get out? Alvin, put down that DNA. Theodore and Alvin. Yeah. <laughs> Mister, welcome to the men's room. Oh, that's cool. Is it? I don't know. I sure hope you wash those hands. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not just trying to immediately leave. Did you miss me? I love the animatronic still. You want to come out? Come here, it's okay. No, uh, I feel like you need to get out of here. Yeah, right? No, Gizmo, you have got to be quiet. Gizmo! <laughs> Gosh. Dang it. Okay. It's him! He's here! Oh, oh, oh. no! God! Hey, how's your hand? <gasps> oh, it's throbbing. Excellent. You've captured the whole essence of the project right here. That's warmth. I like warmth. All right. Oh, well, William Peltzer, sir. Bill, huh? <laughs> People see elm, they think Dutch, disease. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, it's automatic. It opens every now and then just in case you need something. I didn't know about that. <sighs> we can talk about it at dinner. Get out of here. 
They clean the fish right at your table. Really? That that sounds terrific. <laughs> I have to go now, but I'm gonna send someone to pick you up, okay? Ready? What an evil seductress. <laughs> she only wants Billy because he got recognized by Mr. Clamp. Uh -oh. oh, great. I might be able to go out with you tonight, I'm sorry. Fooey. Yeah, I, I've got a meeting. Gizmo's here. That furry thing? <laughs> you get to take him home. Billy! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't let them uh, get exposed to bright light, especially sunlight, because it kills them. Don't let them get wet. Don't let them uh, eat after midnight. <laughs> oh. Move, Gizmo! <gasps> oh, oh no! no. Oh, his work! Mr. Maintenance Man! Yeah, you didn't even fix it. Oh no. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, that one looks pretty evil right away. The main evil one from the first one had a mohawk, right? Wow. <laughs> You're gonna lock Gizmo in there? Yeah. Oh no. Please remove it from the clam parking garage. Your car is old and dirty. Your car is old and dirty. Gizmo. Uh oh. How'd you get up there? That's not Gizmo. Gizmo, you're so hyper. Should have stayed in the drawer, Gizmo. <laughs> this one just creeps me out so much. I see us swallowing up the publicity department. Really? I'm feeling so vulnerable with you, Billy. She's so gross. We should join forces. <laughs> Just stick her whole foot in his crotch. Excuse me, HR. Billy. Yeah, you're dumb enough to not clean that off. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> not the best place. Open up, honey. It's me. Jeez Louise. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. What happened to you? Oh. How was your meeting? It was fine, thanks. You have to go back. Billy, you said that there weren't going to be any more of those. There won't be, okay? <laughs> Honey, get my bag. Okay. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. And then just slam the bag against the wall a few times. <laughs> You know, they got Russian guys driving cabs in this park. Do a cab with a briefcase full of atomic secrets or something like that. Don't people care about that anymore? <laughs> Murray was a little distressed after, uh, you know, what happened with those. Yeah, he was violently, they were both violently attacked. <laughs> what was that? I heard it too. <laughs> Being, Being fumigated. Renovated. Fumigated. And, and, you know, mice and bugs and stuff. Hey, yeah, that's okay. Ah, oh, they're so great. I know. That's okay. Welcome to New York. Man, I'm surprised she hasn't called him on the lipstick and the other girl already. She's waiting for her moment. Right. <laughs> Ten years from now. It's so bad! Flat entry matic doors are being upgraded by top. <laughs> Just trapped in there. That's where the water comes into the building. Okay. Just shut off all water, at least. Give me a video. That caught me a little terrorist, huh? I really wouldn't do this if I were you. Oh my god! Oh, you didn't even kill it? Listen, we gotta find it before he eats something. He already ate something! 
You gotta get the cops, and we gotta have them put you in a rubber room. I mean, it just attacked you. Yeah. They wrecked it. Ooh. You heard that a couple years ago? Oh, that's right. They, like, molt. Or cocoon or whatever <laughs> into the super evil things. Let's go. This way, over here. Are mimes illegal? Thanks, man. How'd you get me out of there? Maybe they were just doing something illegal? <laughs> Ugh. So gross. So much mucus. <laughs> What are the odds you would literally go right there? Dang, kicking Gizmo's butt. Please try not to notice. Please try not to notice. <laughs> Why? Why are they just straight up torturing him? Hello. Hi. Cute bat. I mean, that's the woman Billy, that we work with. Billy, we get through today alive. You're in big trouble. <laughs> what happens is they eat after midnight. They metamorphose and then... Keltzer, you're having a psychotic episode. He does sound very crazy. <laughs> they eat and then they go into the cocoons. Yeah, well, sure, you're going into a cocoon. You want to have a little something first. That's right, they covered up the whole story from the town. <laughs> the archery channel? What, what if they're eating in an airplane and they cross the time zone? I mean, it's always... Mid Could it be on the cameras? Right. Oh, my... <laughs> Um, I think this is all the proof they need. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how violent they are. <laughs> they did kill, like, majority of that town. This is... this... Yes. <laughs> Here, take this, in case it comes back. <laughs> this used to take forever. But now... How much alcohol is in this? <laughs> She's gone. Some of our children. <laughs> Are they always this gross? I know, there's so much grosser, I feel like. Oh no. God, I hate the one that laughs so much. I totally forgot. I thought he turned off the water. Ugh. Ew. This is way gross. Wait, no, no. Shut the door. You got like hundreds of them now. Oh my God, this water is not stopping. What is that? I could be rats, right? I've got to respect the chain of command. What? Oh. Ah, poor Gizmo. What? Oh. Sound alarm. <laughs> Do you have no idea? Yeah, he's clueless. Oh, let's do some memos. Does he just not do anything? Uh, maybe we could have a, a parade, you know, with all, all, all that, uh, that. Oh. That was insane. Mr. Clan, we have a situation. Oh my god. It's this thing that was in here a minute ago. That's dangerous. This guy's from the art department. <laughs> I like Mr. Clamp. <laughs> what? They seem so huge. Oh. That was brutal. At least she's safe. <laughs> Just re-released on video. 
the movie Gremlin. What? <laughs> Ugly, slimy, mean-spirited, gloppy little... Oh, you're in trouble. This is a trash cast of fun. <laughs> Get it. Oh, a ten. It's a ten. It's a ten. <laughs> oh. Is Gizmo just gonna be tortured the entire movie? It's eating my vegetable medley. <laughs> Ew. And what are they, Martin? Oh my God! They got even scarier. I trust that's not the brain hormone that that creature's drinking. Does that make him super smart? Class. <laughs> One, uh, talk a little bit about what? <laughs> There's a common bat of the order Coroptera, the only mammals I might add capable. Oh no, now they fly. And he's smart. Odd. Uh, what psychopath came up with these designs? Oh, genetic sunblock. Oh no, they can go out in the sun now. Oh crap. All they have to do is to eat three or four children and they'll be the most appalling public. <laughs> three or four children. One or two is acceptable. <laughs> Great, a flying gremlin that's immune to the sun. <laughs> the Batman. Oh, seems to be doing just fine. <laughs> Someone's gonna need to kill that. Don't want to alarm you. There was a large spider in there. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> if they turn a gremlin to a big spider gremlin. <laughs> buy, sell, sell, buy. Put everything they've got into canned food and shotguns. Canned food and shotguns. <laughs> oh. It is just a full infestation. Okay. <laughs> fire, the untamed element, oldest of man's mysteries. This is the fire alarm? Enact the age old drama of self preservation. Fire! <laughs> self preservation. The Cathedral of St. Eva Marie. Oh no. Versus the bat. bat. <laughs> hey, Kazimoto, you home? <laughs> hey. He's been through enough. <laughs> Kill it. Nobody else reacting. Yeah, no one's helping him. Get him with the shovel. <gasps> oh. Yes. A gargoyle. Yeah, that's gonna be a real gargoyle. <laughs> oh my gosh. From the genetics lab. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where did those come from? <laughs> did the Kremlins mess with the movie? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Four score. <laughs> Say nudie? Nudie. <laughs> <N> nudie. <laughs> This is worse than the first one. This is worse than the first one. <laughs> Mr. Hogan. Hulk Hogan? Gremlins. In this theater? <laughs> if I were you, I'd run the rest of Gremlins too, right now! It won't happen again. Thanks, Hulk. <laughs> what the hell did we just witness? We will, of course, be broadcasting live from inside the- He can broad- 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 Cast. <laughs> he can broadcast. <laughs> Stroke. <laughs> can you work a TV camera? I am the camera. <laughs> what concoctions are they? Yeah, lightning. That's not good. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Do have some small assault weapons. <laughs> assault weapons. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the fear. <laughs> She's obsessed with him. A touch of the old iron. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I'm assuming he's dead, and now they have guns. 
This could literally not get any worse. <laughs> They're making like super grab. Oh no. Uh, war. You gotta become war. <laughs> you gotta become war. Where this invasion by strange creatures. He finally gets to be a broadcaster. Sending hundreds of people fleeing for their Dracula. <laughs> Is Gizmo training? <laughs> Three monsters in that building there. She needs to get some revenge. I'm so afraid of this spider gremlin. If it's just a gremlin with a bunch of legs, that'll be okay. But if it's got like a spider face. <laughs> or a bunch of eyes. Or a bunch of eyes. Turning it off. It's one of those things. They come in electric too? <laughs> He's in the phone system on hold. <laughs> Just keep him on hold for eternity. Because of the end of civilization, the clamp key. <laughs> we hope you have enjoyed life. Oh no! <laughs> he was prepared at least. He's not airing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. Fool them into thinking that the sun has actually gone down. Well, then maybe they'll all gather in the lobby. Well, then we should make our move at, say, 420. Oh. 420. <laughs> yes, sir, you'll have to set it up from the outside. Oh. Good. <laughs> Could save the city. Developer save city. All right, Mr. Clamp. I knew I always liked you. Oh, jeez. Oh, Maybe she'll get killed by the spider gremlin. Would you like me to bang away on it? Oh my God, she is. This is new. Okay, this might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gizmo. You gotta become war. What? The secret exit. Not even a little bit discreet. No, but super cool. So the monsters are real? I didn't say that. <laughs> Just what I always say, Mike. Come on, use oh, the exit. Oh, you can get in. Yeah. Go in and fight. <laughs> I hate this one. Yeah. That is Bo. <laughs> tradition that's what we're reaching toward doesn't look really civil <laughs> oh. oh my god there's also a lot of street crime but i believe we can watch that for free <laughs> watch that oh nice oh no <laughs> gizmo needs to show up Billy. <laughs> The light! Yes! Can I get some help here, please? Oh, you're not gonna get help. I did have designs on him. I didn't get to first base, okay? It'll do. <laughs> She's so chill. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> It's somehow still less creepy than just a normal spider. Gizmo! <laughs> Rambo Gizmo. Oh, it's gonna have to be quite a shot, Gizmo. Oh, okay, that's gross. <laughs> All right, the whole group's together now. Plus the redhead. <laughs> Something terrible happened to me when you were on Lincoln's birthday. Honey, I really don't think we've got for this now. You know. In the first movie, when she just went on about that horrible story about oh, the Oh, they're just, they're just making fun of Okay. So I was like, man, she had a really terrible <laughs> story in the first one. She's going to have another one? <laughs> it's a shame this won't make it on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. They really were just like... Fuck it, let's just do it in this movie. <laughs> Take out the Statue of Liberty. Okay, are we ready to drop this thing? Man, I sure hope this works. <gasps> oh no. I have to go back to uh, good old fashioned automatic weapons. <laughs> There's a fire hose around the corner. I want you to find it and aim it into the lobby and make sure he doesn't get wet. Marla, smoke. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> what is his plan here? I have no idea. Oh. There's a call on hold in Mr. Clam's office. Is there any way that you can transfer it down? Oh, 
transfer the lightning gizmo and shock all of them. The file server. Gizmo, get back in the box. Hit it! I think it's working. Are they gonna explode or just die? <laughs> the horrors. Oh, straight up melting them. <laughs> oh, that's the brain one. Who's gonna clean all this up? Why is he leading them with a gun? I'm making you an anchor. I'm making me six o'clock. <laughs> What does a menswear makeover cost in Manhattan today? <laughs> oh, Jane. Move, sir. All right. Carry on. <laughs> you work for me, don't you? Yes, sir. Very, very hard. Uh, for one thing, we're insured for the damages. <laughs> Is this your concept? It's Would... our hometown. That's even better. I love that. <laughs> They saved the day. Sorry. I'll quit. <laughs> I'll quit. No, it'll take a while. The elevators are out and all the automatic doors are locked. <laughs> we'll do what we can, Forrester. Just keep your pants on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, stuff of nightmares. It's going to have to consummate the wedding, though. Gross. <laughs> No, that's the grossest thing ever. The fact that he ended that with a smile. All right, that was Gremlins 2, the new batch. What'd you think? <laughs> that was so much fun. That was just everywhere. <laughs> um, it was definitely very different from the first film. Yeah. Uh, just the whole like vibe of it was completely different. Yeah, I mean the first film you're like still figuring out so much about them. Yeah, there's a lot of like shock factor and value in the first film. Yeah, and there's this like kind of big build up and stuff. Whereas this, you kind of know what's gonna happen. They're gonna get wet, they're gonna get evil, yeah. and there's gonna be a ton of them. Yeah. So it, it very quickly just said, okay, let's just get to that. Yeah, because you already know that's what's coming. And then the rest of the movie was just pure chaos. It honestly felt like there was a room full of writers and every single person had an idea and the director was like, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. <laughs> and they just did everything. <laughs> like there was everything in this. Yeah, no, you're right. That's exactly what was going on. Um, it was cool that we got to see Billy back, Kate, Marla and Murray. Yeah. Um, and we had uh, actually a decent amount of characters back and obviously Gizmo. <laughs> yeah, which we couldn't remember Gizmo's name, but we knew there was a name. Yeah. Just took a little while until yeah. they actually said Gizmo. And I was like, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, we maybe should have revisited the first like 10 minutes. We were still <laughs> trying to remember things. But I thought this was great. It was super self-aware and they did a really good job of making a sequel that was worthwhile and it wasn't the same film just over again. No, it wasn't like a different person finds this and slowly figures out what's going on and a whole town. Like, again, it just went straight to the point. And that was one thing that I definitely liked was how self-aware I was not expecting for it to make all of these kind of jokes on itself, how ridiculous the concept is, especially that whole like middle part with Hulk Hogan and the movie theater. Yeah. And it was just like, what is going on? That's again, someone was like in a meeting and said, wouldn't it be funny if we did this? And they were like, yes, it would. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they totally made a Gremlins film that they were like, oh, you would have to be, I don't remember exactly what the line was, but you would have to be stupid to want to watch the second one of this. Like who wants to watch a movie about these little monsters? <laughs> yeah. and, so that was great. I loved that. I know that we probably missed some of the things that were happening in the building. Um, I think I caught on a little bit later and it kind of reminded me of Demolition Man. 
yeah. where you had that woman's voice in the background and she was always charging every time they cursed. Yeah, there was like this constant choke going on yeah. throughout the film. Whereas this, yeah, every single time there was like an announcement, there was always something funny or weird about yes. it. Yes, yeah, which I loved. And I definitely want to kind of go back and see which ones I missed. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of references too. Like, I'm sure some of the gremlins are designed to look like a specific thing and maybe we just didn't catch that or something, but I feel like for the most part, we caught on to a good amount of them. And some of them, maybe there was no like perfect reference, like the spider gremlin or the lightning gremlin, the super smart gremlin. That was another cool little trick that they had with all of that science like laboratory there. Yeah. And it wasn't just gremlins in silly costumes. Like the first movie, that was it. It was pretty much, it was just yeah, them. Yeah, dressed up. But it was still really cool because mm -hmm. that was the first time you saw it. But to have a sequel, you didn't just want a bunch of just funny gremlins again. So to actually have them be like biologically changing and different, it added like a little extra fun to the movie. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that one was able to kind of get that shot of sunscreen or whatever, sun yeah. protectant, and actually get outside. I'm surprised um, more didn't get that. Right. So then you know that one made it out and now garnering that attention outside of the building. Yeah. And I mean, that gremlin escaping plus like the news and everything like this story is definitely not going to be covered up. So I don't know if there's a Gremlins 3 or not or something, but the word is out on Gremlins and they're going to be probably merchandised by Mr. Clamp. Uh, who I actually really like Mr. Clamp or Daniel so Clamp. Like he wasn't just a stereotypical like big boss who was too good for anything or yeah. something like that. He was somehow extremely clueless yet still capable of doing things. Yeah. No, he was a lot of fun and I liked that he liked Billy from the start. Yeah. Um, which was awesome. He was just very supportive of, of everyone's like ideas and stuff. Yeah. And so whenever Billy was like, let's do this, he's like, oh, okay. Or however Billy would kind of like phrase it. So was, you're going to be a hero if you save the city. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. And he tried. He almost, if it wasn't for the clouds, he would have succeeded. Yeah. But he clearly pivoted. He gathered a bunch of guys and guns and stormed in. Like he was under the impression that there was thousands of these evil monsters in there, yet he was willing to charge in first yep. to fight them. Yep. So that's a pretty good boss. You know, he's leading the charge. Yeah, no, I liked, I did like him a lot. Yeah. He obviously had a decent sized ego <laughs> and he... Different motives, but... Yeah, but I feel like deep down he was a good person. Yeah, I, I liked him. And, you know, we still had a lot of uh, Billy and Kate. Not a lot together. Not a lot Everybody together. Was separated. And it's kind of funny to think, like, I feel like this movie focused more on the gremlins. Yeah. I'm curious to see what the screen time uh, oh. of how long, like, Billy and Kate were actually in the movie. Yeah. Um, also, Gizmo. Yeah, like, Gizmo was barely in it, too. Gizmo had such a huge part in the first movie, even in the scene um, to kind of save the day when he was, like, in the car and stuff. Yeah. This, you only had like a very brief uh, scene where he's training and then the one where he takes out the evil spider, which that was a good shot. But for the rest of the movie, he was just in that box pretty much. Yeah, no, and I am glad that we saw First Blood and Rambo 2 yeah. prior to seeing this. And no idea that this was going to have a Gizmo Rambo reference. No. <laughs> but that was great that we at least saw First Blood and First Blood Part 2 honestly like a week ago practically yeah so we got to see that seed that they referenced that yeah. he was watching yeah um where he just like kind of blows up <laughs> that village yeah um so that was fun i like that that was a cute reference and now gizmo gets to have a little red little red headband yeah so i think overall it was definitely a really fun movie it was definitely funny yeah it wasn't i feel like as violent or scary it was as, gross. That was the first one. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's It was more gross. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know if some of the gremlins, the designs were just more gross, or maybe I'm in a more gross mood today or something. I don't know why, but it definitely felt way grosser than the first film. Yeah, like any of the transformation stuff, especially the, like, the boils on the back, I feel like 
in the first film we were maybe seeing those you just kind of see them pop off and they're just little balls yeah but this was like you're like watching them like grow in like little clear boils yeah no that was i feel like it went up a level in terms of maybe what they were capable of doing yeah uh, because even in the first one when they like came out of the cocoons we didn't see them come out i don't believe they just were empty cocoons right whereas this one you see them like come out and there's just like slime like goop. and goop yeah. and mucus um yeah the boils on the back there were definitely some really annoying gremlins and i was just like oh my gosh i hope those ones get killed first yeah and you kind of mentioned it during the film but i mean the puppets in this like animatronics all of it they're just so good. Yeah, so good. The expressions that they're able to get on their little faces, they come across so realistic considering these are just like monsters. Yeah. But you get exactly what's happening because they don't speak besides brain in this one. Right, that's a good point. It, I mean, it must be crazy filming this when you have like a scene where Kate was kind of like running through the uh, the building yeah. and stuff. And there was just people fighting them and chaos going everywhere. And it just works. Like, yeah. I can't imagine this movie not looking exactly how it looks. Yeah, It doesn't feel dated or no. out, like it feels literally perfect. Yeah. I feel like if you tried to do anything else, it wouldn't give that same feeling as Gremlins. And I don't know if that exists for very many things. So that's yeah. it. That's very interesting. Yeah. It's, I mean, this film has aged well. It still looks great and super enjoyable. I mean, I had a really, really good time watching this. I really, really liked the first movie. I had a great time watching it and it was pretty shocking considering we thought it was a kid's movie. Yeah. That... But <laughs> this was just a lot of fun. Yeah, I definitely feel like this movie, it focused on just the fun and the, the whole gimmick of Gremlins. Yeah. The first one definitely felt like a real movie, like with a... Uh, storyline like a beginning middle end yeah this was just like okay let's have a ton of gremlins as quickly as we can and just make them do a bunch of funny stuff and then quickly wrap it up yeah and that worked really yeah. well still yeah so i had a great time me too so if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media all those links will be in the description as well and with that Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.